Uh, knowing all what it entails, I feel super underpaid. And Joseph, here's the thing. What you want to do right now is gather the experience because the experience that you're getting right now is extremely valuable. Build it up. If you keep that job for about six months, when you put that on your resume, it's going to change your life. It will change your life. The experience you're gaining, you're going to be giving crazy offers because nobody wants to do this. Nobody knows about it. Nobody wants to do it. And now you're doing it. And you're going to put six months of your time into this. And by the time you're done, in six months, that's more time. Obviously, that's more experience you're going to get. Make sure you put that on your resume, by the way. A lot of the times people make the mistake of not putting cybersecurity on the resume. But you are in a position where you have to know the families of controls in the NIST 800. That's the exact stuff they want to see on your resume. By the way, the families of controls, think about it. Uh, AC controls is access control. Access control is basic cybersecurity. All this stuff is security best practices that people do not put on their resume. And then they wonder, why am I can't I get into cybersecurity? I'm in IT. I've been doing this for 20 years. Why? Because it's not on their damn resume. You're in a position where you're literally doing all the security best practices for large organizations and they are trusting you. You're helping them put their infrastructure together with security in mind. That is what you're doing. Right now, you may be being underpaid, but this experience that you're gonna get is very valuable and it will it'll get you very quickly to six figures. Along the way, I would recommend that you get a professional level certification, not easy to get, but it's worth your time. A CISSP is what I highly recommend, top of the food chain. Another one would be the CASP. That's another professional level certification. Another one, if you don't want to get those ones, another one would be the CISA. Another one would be the C-RISC from ISACA. Another one would be ISC2 CAP. I hope you're writing this stuff down or rewind it, whatever you got to do. But these, all these certifications are going to help you to get money. Whenever you're sitting there in that underpaid position, put that stuff on your resume. Every line of experience that you have pertaining to this in this role is very, very valuable and they're going to pay you a lot of money to do it. And especially if you have a security clearance, by the way.